Hello, I'm Shadow Cavan, and welcome back to some more Invisible Link. So after our successful mission in Rome, we're going to head to, I guess, Kabul, which is very guarded. But we'll head there. We've got um, 41 hours left, so we can probably hit a couple of these things before the time ends. This is a by the numbers infiltration operator. You will be going here. Records indicate a nanofab somewhere in the facility. I recommend you bring surplus credits. Play it cautiously. There's no sense in risking valuable assets on a fishing expedition. Well, I don't have any surplus credits, so what we're probably going to do is find the exit, steal a bit of stuff, and then play it safe and get out again. Pretty much. But we'll see what the level turns up. So we've got one agent again, obviously. So, Deckard will run over here and look through the door. There is a console in there. Let's open the doorway. Oh, another console just there. And there's also an elevator. So I don't think there's actually anything else. Oh, this location is being watched by the enemy. Now, what enemy could that be? A camera. A camera and a dead end. So I don't need to bother with that camera. I'm just going to leave it. There are a couple of consoles, but because I've got the power drip, and because... Actually, do we have the power drip? I'm assuming we do. Generates one power per turn, so yeah. So we've got 20 power, so we don't need to bother hacking consoles at the moment. So we could just leave these. All these do is give us powers. They don't actually do anything else in-game at all. We'll pee through here. We've only got... Oh, in fact, we've got no AP, so we're going to end this turn now. So the game does run a lot quicker with only one agent to uh, move around. But also is a, obviously a lot harder. We'll hide here and we'll um, peek through these doors. So when you peek through one door and you're standing next to two doors, you actually peek through both of them. So that's why I went and stood in the middle of both rather than just in front of one. So you can actually see what's between both doors. So there is a doorway linking these two rooms, but it is actually locked. Doesn't seem to be a guard anywhere, so I, th I guess we'll go through this room. There's nothing in here. Well, shit, actually, actually there's a guard, but he's back to this door just here. Which I didn't see, which is kind of lucky, really. We'll open this and... No, right. We've got no AP, so we'll then turn here. I'm not sure if this guard stationary is going to move, but we'll just stick our head through this door. There's a camera, but there's also it's a camera database, which could, which could be quite handy, actually. So we'll do that, and then we'll run into here, hack the camera database. Actually, we didn't actually have to run to the room, did we? But never mind. So now we can see there's a camera over here. There's a camera down here. There's one that's active here. We can actually hack that now. So we'll hack that. I uh, don't want to hack that because that's a dead end. So there are two safes up here. So I definitely want to come this way. So that's what I want to do is get these safes and then hopefully find an exit. Put through this doorway here. Shit, probably the, that is probably the only way to the safes, isn't it? But we'll find out. So more cameras have been activated. Let's pop into this mode here and we can see which ones are coming online. Apparently none of them I can hack at the moment. Okay, look. Right, let's move into here. And I guess we'll stand here and then we can peek through this doorway. So there's a guard just here. Who's probably stationary. Oh, some more safe. Right, we definitely want to go this way. There's like four saves. And we can get through this door here actually as well. Fantastic. So let's walk through here. So we've got another whole, we've got another like five or six turns before any more guards come. So hopefully we can be in and out by that time. Let's peek through here. I can't observe this guard annoyingly. Does it look like there's more than one guard? I don't think there is. So if this, if this guard might be stationary, I'm not really sure. Put myself in melee overwatch anyway. Yeah, so he's not going to come this way. He's going to just stay where he is. So if we... There's another camera in here, I think, as well. Or actually, no, there could be a guard in here, couldn't there? What we can do is, I guess, we open this doorway. This guy will see it come here, and then we can knock him the fuck out. So, put a melee overwatch on. Let him come this way. We'll knock him out. Still, shit, which hopefully includes um, a key card for this door. So, let's steal his stuff. Yeah, so a pass card is brilliant and credits. And also our predictive brawling activated, so it gave us a lot more AP. So what we'll do is we'll uh, hack all of these. Actually, no, I said we've got five turns to the next to another guard, but we actually got more than that, because the next turn is extra level. Fuck. Camera. I'm hoping 
that won't cause anyone else to come to us. He says. Huh, shit. Right, we've got five, uh, 5 AP actually, so. Still that. And then I think what we'll do is remove. Overhead to this machine. Unlock this door. Which may be a silly idea. Then we'll hack this power. Got more power from that. We'll end turn, and then we'll go into this room next turn. So even though I had the camera database, there is something in this room still. I think I think it's probably another camera. It could be a bloke. But we'll um what's in here? Money, that's all. We'll peek through the door and we'll see what we can see. So yeah, there's another camera here. Which for some reason the camera database didn't show us when we hacked into it, which I don't really understand why. We'll go here, shut this door, steal from this safe. No items again, and we've got no AP, so we'll just leave that for now. This guy's probably awake. Hopefully, we can sneak past him. Firewall levels have gone up. We'll search this as well. So, oh, lots, lots, lots of credits. Corporate intelligence, right? So, actually, I think I'm going to get rid of the Medi Gel. I right, so which I need to go into here and drop through this menu here, because the Medi Gel can be only used to heal up or revive um, a knocked out person. Which obviously, if I get knocked out, I can't use it myself. This guy is up and awake, so I'm not really sure where he's going to go. I've only got 3 AP, but actually I can hide behind this desk here, can't I? So we'll move behind this desk here and hope... I'll shut this door as well, actually. Uh, no, we'll leave it open, just in case he needs to sneak back through there, because he might see an opening. He, I might be able to sneak around here, behind the desk, but he might see an, a door opening. We'll end this turn. <clears throat> we'll sneak through here, don't... Do we know where the exit elevator is? Well, he's going to come into here in a minute. Did we actually find the exit? We haven't, have we? I don't think. No, we haven't found the exit, so we do need to go and actually find the exit now as well. So this guy's going to come through here and into here, which means we can just run this way. Hopefully he can't see anything. Doesn't look like he can, so that's good for us. <clears throat> we'll run here and we'll shut the door behind us. So you won't be able to see us, that'll be fine. End turn. And we'll steal some more power because we do need something. We're only on 11, so. Shame we can't lock doors behind us, really. It should be quite handy. We'll hack this just for three more power. Uh, I think we're going to try and peek, sneak through, peek through this door and see what there is there. We'll run here, shut this door just in case he decides to come this way. Stand here and we'll peek again. Right, there's a camera in here and a couple of doors. So we'll hack this camera. There was a guard just there as well. Shoot. Oh yeah, that's the guy we saw from before, isn't it? So I don't know why the camera database... We did, we did hack a camera database, didn't we? I'm not just having a funny five minutes. No, yeah, we did hack a camera database, but it didn't show us all the cameras, so that's really pointless. But hey, so we'll move here. We'll see what's through this, through this door actually as well. So we do want to get to the exit pretty quickly because there are more patrols around. Right. And there's a guy just here as well, so let's move here. Right, what's down here? So there's a patrol here, a guy here, a nanofab here. I want the exit, so I don't know where the exit is exactly. Uh, I hide here. I'm going to put melee overwatch on. I don't want really want to use it on that guy. What I want to do is actually use it on this guy here and get out. Hopefully the exit's down this way. There's two guys in here, so I probably won't be, won't be able to sneak past these dudes. Ooh, this guy might see me try and escape. Shit, right. Okay, so a little bit of... Hmm. A little bit stuck. As in, if I go here, this guy is going to see me, is going to chase me down, or try and chase me down. But I reckon I can make it through here, into here. Yeah, let's do that. So he has seen me, so he's going to come and investigate. You see that? Ah, uh, shit. I shouldn't have shut the door, because now he's going to come through here. But you see that? we can open this door, knock this bloke out, and we'll steal all his shit, which is credits. What we'll do is actually drag his body inside here. So... Drag this way. Drop the body. Shut this door. So I've got 8 AP. Uh, move down here, so we're actually hidden a bit. 
peek through this doorway. Uh, we'll end turn. So one more patrol from up here, that's fine by me. Now oh, this guy saw something apparently. Whatever. We're, we're going to here. Apart from this console, there isn't actually anything here at all, so we'll move up to here. This guy's going to come awake in a turn or two, so we do need to be careful. Shit. So I think the exit is actually up here, which is uh, rather annoying. So if I open this door, what's going to happen? Nothing. Yet. Is this guy stationary? Let's observe this guy's movements. He's stationary, so I can actually come here. Shut this door. Warning. Apparently I can't walk there. So the exit, I think, is going to be up here through this doorway down the end. Which is rather annoying. So let's move here. Because we 1 AP. This guy's not going to move anyway, so that shouldn't be a problem. I don't really want to bother with that. There's no other doors out of here, which is what I came to look for. So we'll stand here and we'll try and get it out of here. Don't know how that's going to happen, but we shall see. Shit! I thought this guy was stationary, what the fuck? Right, I'm sure when I clicked on that observe, it said stationary. So what does he do next turn? He moves, of course. Is there any way to get out of here? This location is hidden from the, from the enemy. Apparently I can't move there. Can I move here? So again, he's seen me. He's watching this area. This area is hidden here. So if I run around the back here, I might be able to evade him for one turn and then knock him out. Maybe. Okay, we'll end turn now. See what this guy does. We actually might be able to sneak around the back of him. Of course, probably not because this guy's going to run down to here. Looking around. So there's no way out for me here. So I guess we'll just sit here with Amelia Overwatch on. Or we could run around here, couldn't we? And hide. Which might be a bit more preferable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hack this. Because I can. We'll run here. See what, see what we can buy from here, if anything. Wow, holy shit, there's a lot of stuff here. So I'll get portable server. So generates one power per, per one turn when deployed. Accelerator chip, uh, which gives us... Use the console to increase the amount of power generated by two. Shock trap. One, place a trap on a door that stuns an next person to open it for three turns. That's quite handy, actually. Requires anarchy two, though. Magazine, med gel, paralyzer. Paralyzes, three, paralyzes um, for three turns. Requires anarchy three. Use the console to increase the amount of power generated by two. That's quite handy. Pistols and various <coughs> weapons. Knocks out for three turns. That's quite handy. I could actually afford that gun. Which might be really, really super handy to get me out of here. But I don't have any space. If I buy space, it means I haven't got enough. So, titanium rods. Deals one extra KO damage. Oh, that's quite handy. So, after a melee attack. Piercing scanner. Shoots, shots and melee attacks ignore one point of armor. Torque injectors gain three AP when we uh, use an item in the inventory. Eh, it doesn't seem brilliant. And anatomy analysis, kills ignore guards, heart monitors, do not race tracker. That's quite handy if we had, say, Shalem who's got a gun, but we don't. So we'll just hide down here and hope to hell they don't see me. And we'll try and get around them. But I think, look, there's one, two, three, four, five guards running around this area. So pretty much we have no chance in hell of getting out. So if I go here, I'm actually hidden from the guards. Unfortunately, there's no way to uh, sneak around the back here. There is a guard coming right next to me, though, so I'm gonna, I am gonna have to move. What was that? Shite. So, even though it's hidden from the enemy's sight, apparently that one oh might not be. That square isn't. Okay, that square might not have been hidden from the enemy's sight. That's bollocks. So this guy's gonna see us. I don't think we can knock him. I should have put him on rifle tonight, just in case. Oh, actually, this guy might not see us. We might, might be able to get out of here. Yeah, but God, we're so we're pinned in by so many guards. Oh, running! Shit, I don't want to. 
I accidentally activated the run by accident. Which means this guy's going to hit me. Fuck. It's okay, it did give me more AP, but this guy's now going to hit me. And turn and face me. So he's going to go to where I ran to. Uh, that was rather annoying. Like, there's nowhere to tow run off, apparently. So if I run here, probably... Actually, hmm. I might escape out of this all right at the moment. He's hopefully going to wand, wand over here. So, because of the eek, I was trying to turn the camera with E and uh, hit, accidentally hit R, which is rather annoying. Okay, yeah, now we're not going to make it out of here because there's three different guards coming to this room. So, and one more elite level guard, of course. Uh, we'll put you on melee overwatch, not it's going to do much. I'm going to end turn. So I expect our run to end here. Unless we get extremely lucky. But... <clears throat> it seems, seems to be more and more guards just piling into this little room. With no way of me actually escaping. Although they do seem to be leaving, so maybe they'll leave me alone? Probably not. But you never know. So unfortunately we didn't actually find the exit point. Which would have been really, really helpful. I think it's through this door down here. If there was a door connecting these two rooms, that would be brilliant. I could probably sneak through and sneak out of here. But there isn't. And... This guy's going to see me if I'm not careful. <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see what happens, I guess. He's going to walk out. This guy is going to walk here. Or maybe wander off. So I think they're actually moving away from me now. Or at least I can hope. I'm going to have to end turn again because there's nothing I could do yet. I'm still kind of pinned into this corner. Rather annoyingly. This guy's going to exit. Right. Okay, this room. And then another guy's coming this way now. Bloody hell. And next turn, also, more guards are going to come down. So it's going to be even harder to get out of here. <clears throat> so let's end turn again because I can't move anywhere. Until this room's kind of cleared out a bit. Especially with the guys standing right in front of me. So, two more elite forces, fantastic. And someone's gonna come here. Right, this is hit. This, that's noticed. This is hidden. So, I can run here without being. Si that fucking said it was hidden. I swear to god, that said it was hidden. That's so annoying. Uh, Millie Overwatch will end turn. So, um, might be able to sneak around this guy, but there's another, there is another guy coming here, but which is probably this dude just here. And you know what? We'll try it. What I've got to lose? Everything, but. We'll run into this corner here. Activate Overwatch. Let's see what happens. We've got to try and get out of here, I guess. But this guy's probably going to turn around in a minute, and this guy's going to run here. We're all going <laughs> to. What an idiot, didn't see me. But his mate will. Ah, oh, shit, there's loads of people coming in this room now. What's he looking for? There's nothing there. Right, let's. Um, so, not this guy before, so I can't steal his stuff. I'm just going to have to stand here and hope that this guy runs down here and this guy just runs straight past me and doesn't see anything. And then I can sneak around the back of them. We'll then turn and see what happens, I guess. And also, we'll see what happens at level 6. If even more gods pour into the level, I'll make it even more impossible to get out of it. So this guy hasn't seen us. This guy's actually running away. So who's the guy that's coming into here? Okay, well... I'm going to run... If I run here, if anyone exits the room, they're going to see me straight away. I'm going to run here. And just hope I can maybe sneak into this room. From the, through this little door. I've got a card key, so I think, have I? Yeah, I've got a card key, because I can get, get through this door if I could get to it. Ooh, which I might actually be able to. So there are guards pouring everywhere around here. But, by the looks of things, I might actually be able to get out of here. So we'll unlock, unlock this door, peek through here. So there's no guards in here at the moment. I can't run, that must be activated at the very beginning of the turn. I've got 5 AP. So if I open the door, 
There's a guard coming this way, but... Oh, shit. I actually might be better off moving here, shutting this doorway here. Is that, def is that a door? Or is it just a hole in the wall? I think it's a door, isn't it? So if I move here... And shut the door, I won't... Oh, they shouldn't see me anyway. Let's, um... I don't have enough AP to move back and forth, though, so... We'll leave this door open. And we'll press enter and we'll see what happens. I guess. It's so alarm level 6. I don't know what the hell happens next. But nothing good, probably. Just punch my mic. It's rather stupid. Oh, no. The corporation has called in two elite enforcers, so two more. So, yeah, this is... I, I might be able to get out of here, but I don't really see how. I can knock this guy out. Sneak and hide in this corner here. This guy's going to run down to here. That might be an idea, actually. Because otherwise someone is actually running onto my position now. So, we'll run here. Knock you out. Take all your shit. Apparently he's got no nothing to take. Actually, that's actually give us more AP as well. But, this area is noticed by the enemy. Hidden notice. So, I can't wait to get out of here. Because... He'll see me. But what I can do is run here. And we'll hide here. Hack using incognito. What's it? Oh, it's got a demon program in it. No way. Not doing that. Um, we'll wait here for a turn. This guy hopefully is going to run that way. There's loads of guys in this room, so I'm glad I'm not in there anymore. Put it that way. <laughs> ah, it's a guard just here as well. Shit. And they can see this area totally. They can't see me, I'm actually hidden. But I can't get out of here, so again, we'll let turn. So level 6 is apparently the uh, final level you can get to on this. He's going to see the body. Bollocks. <clears throat> so... I can't do anything. I'm stuck in a corner. I'm hoping these guys don't see me. I hope they both run past me, and then I can run around the back of them. Is my plan. There's also a guard here, but I will actually have my um, neural disruptor handy. So I'm going to have to knock him out and hopefully escape. I'm hoping, I'm hoping the exit elevator is that way, because if it's not, I'm actually fucked. <coughs> all the guards are pouring into this room here. I should have all pouring into that bloody room there, so lucky for us, lucky for me, I'm not in there anymore. So there's no one looking here, so I can actually probably. If I get to here, how much AP do I have left? Three. Is that enough room to... I don't want to be seen by this guy over here, obviously. We'll run here and we'll see what happens, I guess. There's a garden here somewhere, but... Right, he's right by the exit elevator. I'm going to shut this door here. I hope you see it by the back of him, and then we can run to the exit next turn. So, against all odds, we might actually survive this. I may get out, but I'm on the home stretch, but you never know. Something might go terribly wrong. This guy might see me. Although apparently he's content investing investigating the elevator. <coughs> so we'll look at all these guards moving around, watch them all. Well, I have got enough to actually get to the exit. I'm, but I'm gonna run behind this guy, knock him the fuck out. <laughs> Just because I can. And then I'll walk into the exit and exit. Plus I can steal all this stuff, so he might have more credits on him. He's got more credits. Excellent. So we'll exit here. And we'll take the elevator to the next level. So somehow, against all odds, not only did we go come away with a fuck ton of credits, corporate intelligence, we actually managed to explore 99% of the map. And we didn't have to pay any cleanup costs, which is excellent. So continue. So all in all, that was actually a really, really good run. Even though we got to level 6, which is the highest security level, we somehow managed to get out without being shot, even though I thought we would be killed way, way before that. <clears throat> so we have got a lot of credits, so I'm actually going to use these to upgrade um, Deckard. So we're going to give him, definitely give him, more, give him more movement. That's his max. So he can't go to any more levels, but obviously I think there must be someone who can do. Inventory space, he's got one slot, that's fine. Anarchy, what does Anarchy do? Steal from behind, that could be quite handy. Hacking gives us additional hacking items. 
So I think we actually might buy one one level in anarchy. We could buy two. We'd leave us with 93 credits. <clears throat> but I think we'll just steal from behind now. And we'll go back to the mission select screen. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to take a break and I shall see you in the next video.